Richard Turere. Kenny and Richard Turere invented a device known as the Lion Light out of frustrating occurrence of lion's attack on his family cattle ranch. Lion Light is an automated lighting system of five touch bulbs around the cattle stockade. The bulbs were wired to a box with switches and to an old car battery charged with a solar panel that operated his family's television set. Richard's invention has kept lions away from his family's livestock and that of others. William Kwamkwamba, a Malawian innovator popularly called William Kwamkwamba, built an electricity producing windmill from spare parts and scraps after he dropped out of school at the age of 14. William Kwamkwamba no doubt has used renewable energy to address Malawi's energy challenges. Chakrun Abdullah Chakrun Abdullah of Morocco is the youngest and the most symbolic innovator in his home country, Morocco. At the age of 18, he accomplished his first invention and by age 25, he had made nothing short of 35 different inventions and obtained patent for at least two of his genius inventions. Abdullah's inventions ranges from private mechanics of vehicles to military and medical devices. He has gained recognition in the military field where he succeeded in inventing some sophisticated technology weapons. Some of his other inventions is a square rotor rotary engine which can increase power and speed compared to the engines available in the market and it also reduces fuel consumption. Chakroon has made 35 different inventions in the history of technology. Kelvin Doe Kelvin Doe is a self-thought engineer from Sierra Leone. He searches for broken electronic devices in trash cans and uses them to create special things. Doe emerged as one of the finalists of Jimin's Innovate Salon Idea competition and he is today the youngest person to participate in the Visiting Practitioners program at MIT. Kelvin Doe in history is the youngest visiting practitioner at MIT. Ludwig Marischain Ludwig Marischain, a South African, is known for the dry bath, the world's first and only bath substituting antibacterial and biodegradable skin gel. His gel is particularly useful for the rural communities where clean water is hard to come by. Prior to this, Ludwig invented a healthy cigarette in the 10th grade and authored a mobile dictionary. Ludwig Marischain's invention is one of a kind sensational antibacterial gel. Adibola, Abiola, Tui, and Eniola. In the year 2012, these four high school teenagers showcased a practical and thoughtful innovation called the Urine Power Generator. This invention warmed the hearts of Africans and the international community. Their Urine Power Generator could provide affordable, safer, and more access to electricity. According to Adebola, Abiola, Toyi, and Eniola, one liter of urine could give six hours of electricity. These four high school geniuses created an efficient generator. Makerere University Kira Team After nearly three years of development, 25 students of the Makerere University in Uganda unveiled an electric car called the Kira EV. This Kira can gain speed of 100 km per hour and cover about 80 km before its next recharging. Following this success, the team is currently working on an electric bus. In history, Makare University students built an electric car. Effie Lee Newsom Born Mary Effie Lee on January 19, 1865 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was one of the first black poets who published children's literature and poems for children. She was the author of one volume of poetry, Gladiola Garden, Poems of Outdoors and Indoors for Second Grade Readers. Starting in 1917, Effie Lee Newsom began working with W.E.B. Du Bois in the Crisis magazine. Newsom would continue to contribute to a section of the crisis known as The Little Page until 1934. A number of her poems appeared in the Brownies book, the magazine published by the W.E.B. Du Bois. 
Until now, Effie Lee Newsom's poems were available only in a hard-to-find collection titled Gladiola Garden, published in 1940. This new volume, which includes poems from Gladiola Garden, The Brownies Book and The Little Page, reintroduced Effie Lee Newsom and the spirit of her work to a new generation of children. Philip Emeguali Philip Emeguali was forced to drop out of school at age 14 due to financial constraints. But this didn't stop him from becoming one of the greatest computer pioneers of our time. In fact, he's often called the Bill Gates of Africa. As an adult, Emeguali began studying nature, specifically bees. The construction of the honeycomb inspired him to rethink computer processing. In 1989, he put his idea to work using 65,000 processors to invent the world's first supercomputer, able to perform 3.1 billion calculations per second. Mary and Mildred Davidson Mary and her sister Mildred patented many practical inventions. They didn't have technical education, but they were both exceptional in sporting ways to make people's lives better. Together, they invented the sanitary belt. Later, Mary invented a moisture-resistant pocket for the belt. While disabled from multiple scleroses, Mary went on to invent the walker and the toilet tissue holder. Charles Drew Every two seconds, someone needs blood in the USA. Thanks to Charles Drew, the blood is available. Drew was a physician, surgeon, and medical researcher who worked with a team at Red Cross on groundbreaking discoveries around blood transfusions. He also invented the, and get ready because this name is pretty charming, blood mobiles. These are the refrigerated trucks that to this day safely transport stored blood to the location where it is needed most. Drew was one of the most prominent doctors working in this field and one of the only African Americans during a time when blood donation was still separated along lines of race. Drew eventually resigned from his position with the American Red Cross over their insistence on adhering to this policy. It was 1950 before the Red Cross finally recognized all blood as being equal. Lloyd James Austin III Lord James Austin III is an American retired four-star Army General. Austin previously served as the 12th Commander of the United States Central Command, CENTCOM. Austin was the first black commander of CENTCOM. He became the first African-American Defense Secretary. On Friday 22nd, he became the first African-American Defense Secretary on Friday 22nd, January 2020, shattering a racial barrier for the nation at a time when military is assessing possible extremism in its ranks after the capital riot and reshaping the force to counter China.